work on each part, but mostly our strength and stability was trying to throw it. So we're going to do a hop in each part. Of so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop down to the end of the mat. You're going to have your leg back, chest forwards, okay, arms out. You're going to hop all the way to the end. But when you're hopping, I want you just hopping forwards. I want you to hop in up, okay? So from the very first time, you're going to be there, you're going to hop up. So it's so important that my elbow is down. Yeah? This time, we're going to start facing each other like this. You're going to get your judo grip first, and then your partner's going to get hold. Okay? Now, for now, we'll do it opposite sides. Okay? Because it's harder. If you're both same sided, just down to for me, and you turn, it's just harder for your partner to balance because they're on so far across. You can do it, but it's just a bit harder for now. 
Okay, so we're going to go opposites. You're then going to turn, facing this way, you're going to keep the arm out, and we're going to be here. You're going to hop all the way to the end. When you get to the end, we're going to think about our throw. Now, some of you, when you're throwing, you're doing your legs and your arms, but not together. You're doing a really good hop. You're hopping up, you're waiting for them to land, and then you do your arms, okay? Whilst you're hopping into the air, you should be using your arms at the same point. So all the time, yeah, all the time I'm trying to hop and lift, my arms should be working, okay? Let's try again. Come on, boys. Okay. It's good, it's getting there. Sometimes, sometimes when you guys are hopping, as you're hopping, you're allowing them to come closer and closer and closer. Now, it's a little bit difficult because you wouldn't just hop down the mat to try and throw something. And especially with a hop <coughs> like Ken Ken, it's more of a circling motion, okay? But we're trying to practice building our strength, okay, and building our posture. So when I'm hopping with my partner, so I've got my very good turn like this. What I don't want to do is allow myself to come in. Because when I go to the throw in the minute, Everything's locked in, I've got to try and create that space again, okay? I'm trying to be here, arm out, elbow in, and I'm trying to hop, controlling that distance. Because if I control that distance, okay, I'm gonna throw. If I allow this to happen, that helps my partner with his balance. And in a second, we're gonna practice the person who's being thrown trying to take control of the technique, okay? So if I allow him to come towards me, actually that's really difficult for me, okay? So one more round like this, you're gonna do all your hopping from there, but I want you to really think about keeping that and keeping your elbow and shoulder here, keeping that dry. If my arm was out here, I would have to use all of my body to, to break his balance, okay? He would have to be quite strong as I do it, it's quite difficult. So it's much easier if we're inside here, we've got this control, and then I'm hopping with it. Okay, trying to steer my partner over. Yeah? One more round like this. What's going to happen now? Don't we're not going to do as much hopping, we're still going to do a little bit of hopping, and we're going to come into the middle of these two mats. Okay? So we're going to start here, my partner's going to turn in with the reach marker, we're going to reach marker over here, we're going to go to the middle. So that's hop, 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 hop. Now, when we're to the middle, this is what now where we're going to see who's the strongest. Okay? I need to try and throw my partner over here, he needs to try and throw me over here. Now remember, the person on this side, nine times out of ten, you're going to be on the weaker side, okay? So don't worry. Everything now comes about controlling this sleeve, okay? Trying to keep our posture. If I allow my head to come down too much, it's really difficult for me to try and count my partner. I need to keep my posture up, same as him, okay? What makes us stronger is exactly the same. So I need to keep my posture, he needs to keep his posture. Okay? If I start to bend, I lose power. If he starts to bend, he starts to lose power. Okay? So when we're here, we're ready. He's going to try and throw me this way, and I'm going to try and throw him that way. Okay? And then we change. Same thing. It'll be my turn. I'll be here. I'll turn in. We'll hop to the middle again. We'll be in this position. He's trying to pull my sleeve this way to throw me over there. I'm trying to pull his feet this way to throw him over there. So, come on. So, yeah. so we're there, I'm on stage, and then try and throw him that way. Does that make sense? There's a good chance at the moment you're just going to fall in a heap. Okay? Don't worry. We're trying to build our strength, we're trying to feel it. But it really comes down to posture, control of the sleeve, and looking up. If I look down, as I try and hop, my puddle will come here, from here, and it'll take me over. Okay, does anybody remember the name of the technique? Good, does anybody know the name of the counter? Go on. Yes, but what's the Japanese word? Uchimatsu <laughs> Keishi. Okay, so we'll have you all like set up for me, set up. Some of you actually manage to do it quite naturally. The throwing direction for like the hop in each matter is sideways, but also circling. So what was happening when you both come up here, it wasn't just that you were directly all trying to go sideways, you were actually trying to get that rotation. That's not a bad thing, okay? But your rotations are different. 
If I'm trying to flow with you, Chimata, I'm trying to keep this sleeve coming this way and keep my partner coming, what's that, anti clockwise? <laughs> yeah, as a right hander, or want to come around this way. My partner wants me to circle in the other direction, so he wants me to come around this way to be able to throw me. Okay? So it's not just that I want to go this way, he wants to go that way. Okay, we can start to circle. Now some of you definitely cheated. Some of you literally hooked in and started trying to throw straight away. Okay, wait till you get to the middle. The only way you're going to start to feel and learn the danger is by putting yourself and having an equal go. Okay, so once I'm up here, you ready? Let's go. So yeah, we go. Go on, go, go, go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then I can throw it. Yeah? Much easier to use my arms once my partner's in the air. Okay? Then it's my partner's go. Allow them to get the advantage by going on the inside, getting their grip, and then being here. And then exactly the same thing. Okay? Yeah, so he's gonna try. Try and drive, try and drive. I need to try and get this sleeve towards me. Well, I'm keeping it throwing in. <laughs> okay? It works because your partner wants to throw you. Okay, if he stands there, it's difficult for me to take control of the throw because he's not trying to do anything. Okay? So it happens from them actually trying to throw you. Yeah? We are going to do the same thing, okay? But I want to just see some control of movement. So you're going to get your, get your grip, you're going to turn, you're going to go into this position. Now, you have to do a full 360 degrees one way and then a full 360 degrees the other way. Okay, so from here we're going to try and keep in posture, we're going to hop, circle, 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 all the way around one way. Then, exactly the same, the other way. Here. Okay? We're going to play around. Now, if we have control, we can then start to use that for our throw as well. Okay? So if you're feeling confident with your partner that you can move nice and controlled, like you're not going to fall over, then you can take it in terms on the technique. Okay, so we're hopping this way, this way, who's going to throw? Me. If we're hopping this way, who's going to throw? Yeah, my partner. Okay, so from here, we're going to hop all the way around, like this. If you feel like you've got that control, you can start to use your arms, okay? And then it's their turn on the way back. So when we're in here, I hook, I'm going to hop, hop, hop. He's going to pull out the he's going to pull out, yeah. Okay, and the other side. Let's go. Last few seconds. All right, last little point to finish. With all of this, our grips, our stance, but most importantly, our posture. Okay, we're here in this position. The second I start to bend like this, I lose power. Okay, even though I'm leaning forwards, my chest is still out, and I'm still trying to drive. Yeah, when I'm trying to throw. This is still extremely important when I'm being the Uki, the other person. So if I'm in this position here, my partner lifts lift my leg up, okay? It's so, so important that I'm still keeping my posture doing everything I can to stay upright. The second I start to bend forwards like this, he's got a really good chance to throw me, okay? The more I can keep my body in a straight line, the better my balance is going to be. The second that my head really starts to push out in front and then round off, the harder it is, the trickier it is. And you see it all the time, or at least I see it all the time, in competition. When two people are practicing, they're here, and you get one person like this. Okay, because the second they're bent over in this position, and they turn one, turn and turn and turn, there, they're already close to being thrown from their starting position. They have to be in a good posture straight away. Okay, and there's definitely people in here who've done competitions before where they bend over like this, and that's when they get caught. Okay, so we need to be upright like, here into this position. I still need my posture. I'm still trying to do exactly what my partner's trying to do to me. There, but I'm almost trying to do like a reverse hip pump on the outside of the leg. Okay, what I can't do, well, look up, is like really entwine the leg, but I can keep my leg there. I can still keep good posture as I'm trying to rotate my partner around. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, good. Let's finish with a 